everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. Hi, and I'm Brian Belcher. And welcome, welcome to, Force to Force Life. Life. Why we're not allowed to giggle, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Brian just See, sat me down and was like, Now you're allowed you to giggle. You just cannot giggle, giggle by saying hello because people will think that there's a joke they're missing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now there's a ton that they're missing, and it's all Phew. thanks to you. This vice mayor, he is too big for his britches. <laughs> I can replace him with any snowman. <laughs> I mean, the snowmen if you're are gonna not going to tell you about national. If you're going to sit there and roll your eyes at me, you, I, you can at least give me free stuff. <laughs> the snowmen don't love you. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. I created them. That doesn't mean Jack. They have to. My love mom me. created me. And you don't love your mom? Is that what you're trying to say? I, I think I was about to go down <laughs> that road, but that's Great. not true. I'm glad that you've all told her that you don't love your mom. So. I do love my Fucking mom. serial killer. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, it's 7 o'clock. Guess who's a shit? On a it's Sunday. Brittany. <laughs> We're going to the... Hey, Rocket. We're going to the island because I got bills to pay. Bills to pay. Bur burning the candles on both ends, Brittany. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like a... a a Darth Maul candle. Get out of here, you Star Wars nerd. <laughs> <laughs> we already spoiled it for them yesterday. Now you're spoiling. I didn't spoil anything. Now you're spoiling the Phantom Menace to everyone who hasn't seen it. <laughs> oh no! There's a guy with a double stick. There could be a small child in the audience. Hey, small child, stop watching us. <laughs> this is a terrible influence. Has never seen Star Wars of Phantom Menace. Small child, I say fuck it. a lot. Don't watch our show. It's just a word. It can't hurt anybody. It really can't, but someone that's going to get mad at us for saying, for that kid starting to say fuck. Do we have anything in here? Last time we did. I don't think so. Nope, we're good. We did a good job that time. All right, let's go to the island. Time to go to the island. <laughs> Yard, just leave it to me. Yep. Here we go. To the islands. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Uh, Brittany's <laughs> face this is full of hatred. Sure is. I can't keep track. Of all me. <laughs> all right, Vice Mayor. <laughs> Bro, you just like flip that tail over all that stuff is on the floor. <laughs> But <laughs> just left the room. It's just me. He like flipped all my stuff on the floor too. Like, wow, what a child. <laughs> hey guys, it's just me. <laughs> I can't tell if he's like legitimately mad or if he's just like faking me out. Who knows? <laughs> At least back we can ask him ourselves. <laughs> Give me the controller. Give me the goddamn thing. I can't. Give me the thing. Give me the I thing. <laughs> Give me the thing. You don't. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play. <laughs> Brittany, you. You can be vice mayor. Here you go. Here you go. Guys, it's the. Uh, it's the last day of Magfest. We're all a little. Here we go. We're all a little tired. We're all a little grumpy. I don't. I don't need no goddamn fishing wand. Are you catching bugs in the ocean uh, with that wetsuit? <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, what do we got? I don't even know. I don't know what I was oh, doing. I was just grabbing things. You need a net. Hey, Brittany, you just <laughs> shut the fuck up. That's what you do. You just shut the fuck up right here now. That's what. That's what you do. I don't need. You're right. Okay, you're right. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm gonna take this too. I'm gonna fix some things. You fucked up a little bit around this island. Are you gonna cut down all the trees? I'm gonna. I'm gonna fix the island, Brittany. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. All I right. thought you wanted to make money, but no, you wanted to be a shit. I do want to make money. I was so eager to make money that I skipped over your song. You are a shit, is what you are. And I thought you were getting too big for your vice mayor britches, so <laughs> I had to put my foot down to let you know there'll be consequences for your actions. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You already scared off the Beatles. That's fine. <laughs> 
on the trees. <laughs> you know it's gonna take like forever for that thing to grow again to get yeah. real, so yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you just you just you try to do things nice. Well, we're two months in. I guess it's time to have our first legitimate fight. <laughs> try, you try and be a good vice Bird. mayor. <laughs> Bird has gone rogue. <laughs> <laughs> and... I can't stop laughing. What that's are you not even good, doing? It's not a good place for that. I'm, I'm going to teach you a good fucking... <laughs> this has bothered me since we started doing this show. Oh, Lord. And Brian is... Right. And I'm I'm going to fix it. That's what we're going to do. Hope you're ready to watch Brian dig a hole and then bury it and then dig a hole for 30 minutes because he can't decide where to put a fucking tree. There's one. He's like watching a dog try to take a shit in a silo. Mm-hmm. Try to find a corner. Just keeps going around and round and round. Brittany, why don't you tell me about fucking national days? Why don't you do a goddamn job All for right. once? <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Brittany Saturn. I'm here with your national days. Yeah, how's it go? <laughs> Tell me, there's a, there's 7th. a way there's a way that it, you say this, Brittany. Do your job right. I uh, don't Come say on. it anyway. I like to keep it fresh. No, you don't. There's a, the, this. That's not how segments work. <laughs> you have <laughs> you have you have segment, a say. No, okay. you, no, you weren't. So every day is National Day, and I, Brittany Saturn, am here to prove that that is correct. Cool. They're every day. Is they national are. They day, sure Brian. are, Brittany. Today, January seventh. Sunday is National Bobblehead Day. That's awesome. Did you ever have any bobbleheads, Brittany? No, because I think they're dumb, but... <laughs> I had a Wolverine bobblehead. Of course you did. And a Terminator bobblehead and a uh, uh -huh. Ash from uh, Evil Pokemon? Dead. No. <laughs> That'd be cool, though. Ash Ketchum? Was that what Ash, Ash Ketchum. Ash. Ash, Ash, Ash Ketchup. <laughs> Ash as ketchup. Um, well, to celebrate Bobblehead Day, I guess you can go by and like tap your bobblehead so it'll mm. bobble. Also, uh, you can visit the National Bobblehead and the bo the Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh that shit, Milwaukee? Sounds... Yeah. Milwaukee's got things interesting. <laughs> you sounded really excited, like we were going to Milwaukee. We're going to Milwaukee. I want to see that like, bobblehead. I and wanna... you're like, holy shit, we can stop by the bobblehead museum. That actually sounds really cool, though, because like while I'm not, I didn't have any bobbleheads. Um, go away. It'll, it'll go in the ocean. You just give it a second. Brittany, I know what I'm doing. All hmm. right, well, we'll see how much money you pull in at the end of this. So. <laughs> Um, but I really love like little museums and stuff like that. Like um, I went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, uh, last year, or I guess it was the year before last. Now, because now we're in 2018. Yeah. Um, and they had a salt and pepper shaker museum that I really wanted to go to. Unfortunately, we realized that they had the museum like on a Sunday, and they opened way later than what we were wanting to stay because we were leaving that day so we didn't get to see it <clears> but <throat> if i ever go back to gatlinburg i'm going to that salt paper striker museum um we have one more day though brian yeah what's another day tell me about i the think days. you might like this one i'm excited it's already tem it's tempura day Tem tempura day yeah so fun fact about tempura we actually uh just uh we had skipper with us before the marathon right he's uh staying with us at our house and he had shrimp tempura for the first time ever. Was that his first time having it? Mm -hmm. It was really good, though. It was really good. I think that was his favorite thing. He had a lot of firsts that day because we were eating uh, sushi for the first time. With, he did, Or he'd never had sushi before. No, but it was Brian's first time, too. Don't let him trick you. He talks about sushi all the time, but he, in fact. Uh, am I a faker? Sushi. I'm a yeah, faker. He's a faker. <laughs> all right. You're just jogging around the island, aren't you? Yeah, that's how I get rid of bugs. <laughs> you gonna get that shark? No. I'm here for bugs, Brittany. Okay. I ain't I ain't playing around. But I might have to walk back inside. So Brian's a little testy today because Because you didn't let me do the one thing that I I, I, I asked. Also because it's the last day of Magfest. It also is true. Uh Magfest is the only con that I really get like con depression post, yes post con depression well that's because we see the whole process so if you don't know post con depression is basically just where you're really sad that the con's over um you miss your friends you miss all the good times you had there's like so much energy and excitement leading up to the con and during it that afterwards it's just kind of like 
whew, you know, like it's just all gone. Mm -hmm. Um, For me, like MAG is especially like that because we work all year long for the Mega Manathon. And then we get there super early. So we see the con get set up in the hotel. Like we see them bring in all the consoles, all the arcade machines, all the like wires and cords for yep. LAN and everything. Yep. Plus we're setting up our own stage. Uh, and then we're there and it's like, it's so much fun. And there's like 20,000 people at this hotel. Everyone's jam packed. There's something going on every minute of every hour of the, all the days you're there. Um, and then we stay behind because we have to. Uh, take down our own stage but yeah. in the process we get to see all of the attendees leave we see them take down all the stuff that we saw them put up we get to see how dead it is right afterwards yeah and all that's left is just a hotel and what was there so it's like really sad actually last year i walked down to our old hallway where we used oh, to man. do mega manathon and they didn't have anything going on down there because that's like right outside of registration and it was it was saturday night so Part of it why they like, want us to move. It was like the height of the party, so everyone was like in the lobby and in those like communal communal areas, just like partying. But in our little corner, our old corner, there was nobody there but a guy breaking up with his girlfriend on the phone. Uh huh. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this is so depressing. But I really love our new spot. It's so much. Our better. new spot's a lot bigger. It's a lot better. Yeah, it's a lot roomier. So Adam had to convince me to take it because uh, I was just like another hallway. Shena like shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like where we are is much better than getting put in a panel room. Oh, yeah. We were striving to get put in a panel room, but they didn't have one big enough for us, essentially, that they wanted to give to us. Because, like, the really big ones are reserved for, like, big special guests, which they need those <clears throat> rooms for. That hallway is perfect, But though. the hallway is perfect because uh, I don't know what it is about Mega Manathon, but it's more of, like, people just wander over, <laughs> you know? Um, there are people who've been there in the in the past years who look for us now, but mm -hmm. a lot of new people they just wander in and they're like, "Huh, this so, is cool." So, so a lot of for well, a lot of people found this for the first time this year due to that new placement. Mm -hmm. So that was that was cool. Yeah, we had such an awesome stage last year, so it was our first time having like a big, I would say, professional looking stage. You know? Yes, it was very like. Before, it was, like, just some shit we threw together, some, like, cardboard, like, we cut out and put on the window, like, this is us. <laughs> yeah. We were basically, like, the equivalent of, like, a child's lemonade stand. Yeah, basically. The previous years. Basically, we it was really just have... a stage, and sometimes we didn't even get that until the last second. Yeah, yeah, so we do, we did have a stage in the past, we had some of the trusses. It was only the first year that we, or not trusses, but um, risers. Risers, yeah. Uh, it was only the very first year they were actually on the floor, so. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, but that's okay. It was growing pains. First years. We didn't know any better, so yeah, we thought yeah. it was great. Well, we kind of knew it was crap, but, <laughs> you know. But it was still, we, yeah, we definitely were. We were just happy to be there and to be doing the thing. How, how's your island bug catching going, Brian? It's good. Feels good. Feels good to, the, you know, to uh, participate and be a part of the show, Brittany. <laughs> And not. Uh, oh, you were participating. You tell me all about the National Day. Uh huh. Birthdays. But I, 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 I have a couple things that I like to do, Brittany. And you just dashed mm -hmm. my dreams mm -mm -mm. of one of them. Okay. I, that was a pretty funny joke, though. Right? Got you good. Now you know how Adam feels when I bamboozled him. This is worse than Adam. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just on everyone's shit list this year. You're really fucking up 2018 so far. <laughs> were you guys playing Whamageddon uh, during Christmas time? Because if you were, you can, we can disown you now. Um, so if you don't know what Whamageddon is, basically the goal was to get through the whole month of December without listening to Last Christmas by Wham. Is it by Wham or is it by George Michael? It's by Wham. Okay, well, you know, it's George Michael is the singer and he sings that song Last Christmas. I gave you my heart, blah, blah, blah. Um, so Which is were, a Christmas classic now. Yeah, it's a Christmas classic. So there, were, our friends were playing this game. Um, so we had this friend who was like really diehard, dedicated to it. And I decided from the get go, I was gonna like really get this guy. So he is actually our, I guess, our boss for Mega Man. Yeah, he's, he's the like, department he's, head of charity. Yeah, he's the department head of charity for Magfest. And so we had an announcement video for our event. Which you can watch here. Ding! Hey! Um, 
And in the middle, I like we made like Brian made the video, and then I had him make a copy of the video. In the middle of the copy, we spliced in just a, Wham's Last a, Christmas, a, a piece of the music video of Wham's Last Christmas, right where it says "Last Christmas" the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, right in the chorus. So I sent him this like copy of the video, and I was like, "Hey, man, I know you're you know you're the head of the, of charity, so I just wanted you to take a look at this, make sure that it's all good to go before we like send it out everywhere." And he was so mad. He was so pissed. He disowned you. So pissed. He and disowned me. <laughs> and threatened me for a good, like, I don't know. About 15, two weeks straight. About two weeks straight, just threatening me about and how I'm he sh- was going to get me. He still says it occasionally. Yeah, yeah, he still says it occasionally. So I feel like I'm on everyone's shit list already this year. So, But that's the story with that. Good times. Great oldies. Love making your friends mad. It's the best. <laughs> Come on, these are harmless pranks. It's not like I'm doing something. Oh really no, bad. I'm, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting my my due in right now. I'm just I'm playing this mm-hmm, episode. Mm-hmm, That's what's okay. up. Brown's playing this episode. He's jogging That's, around the island. Um. Well, Brian, I think we should go into birthdays because we have some really great birthdays. Oh, we'll go. Let's go to birthdays. All right, so, you're, in, you're in charge first of this train. Of all, I know, I'm just telling you. Look at your the conductor. Oh my god. Toot toot. I want one of those train horns then. Those yeah, okay. Whistles. Let's get you a train horn. Those That's wooden awesome. Whistles. Yeah. yeah. Boop, boop. No, I love it. Anyway, first of all, I want to just wish you a happy birthday. If it's your birthday, thank you so much, dear viewer, for watching us on your birthday. You gonna th- you gonna wish him happy birthday, Brian? You're just gonna be a sour puss to everybody. Oh no, no! Thank you so much for watching <laughs> on your birthday. We really do appreciate it. I'm not used to playing and talking at the same time, so <laughs> sorry. No, well, that's not an excuse. You ripped that thing out of my hands. You better be ready. I'm to getting ready. I'm getting ready. Don't you worry. Sorry. Oh goodness. All right. Well, let's talk about our first celebrity birthday because okay, if what's it is our first your birthday, birthday today, you should be super happy to know that you share a birthday with Nicolas Cage. <laughs> not the bees. <laughs> Yes, today is Nicolas Cage's birthday. He was born in 1964, and he will be 54 years old today. 54 goddamn years. 54 glorious of, years. Of this earth that you have shared with Nick Cage. Nick Cage. You could have shared an entire lifetime with him if you're older than 54. So, what is your favorite Nicolas Cage movie, Brian? Con Air. Con Air, yes. That did not... That's uh, It's between <laughs> Con Air and National Treasure. Yeah, I really love Con Air and National Treasure, uh, but I recently watched The Wicker Man. Yes. And that movie is amazing. Don't don't tell me that's your favorite movie. Uh, no, it's not my favorite movie. Okay. I think my favorite one might be Face Off. <laughs> Face Off is great. <laughs> because Holy shit, stars, he really does get to act. It accent. stars both um, Nicolas Cage and... God, what is his name? John Travolta? John Travolta, that's his name. Damn, I feel bad. I forgot that. So basically, Nicolas Cage has to pretend to be John Travolta pretending to be Nicolas Cage. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't seen Face Off, I highly recommend it. It, it is, is two ridiculous. insane actors like, trying to be each other. Like, do not take this movie seriously. I don't know if this movie was supposed to be serious. Yeah, yeah. But the plot of it is essentially these two people switch faces through surgery. And they are pretending, like, one of them is pretending to be the other one. And the other one yep. is trying to convince everyone that he is not that person. But it's yeah. some great A-plus acting. And you should definitely watch it. I'm always down to watch Face Off. Face Off, I actually <laughs> saw that movie in theaters. Did you really? Yes. I think I saw it when, um, I think my grandma owned it, didn't she? Yeah, yep. Because we were looking through her movies one That day. and Con Air. She we had were, both. We were staying with my grandma, and we were looking through her movies. We are like, well, it's just Con Air and Face Off. No, we just out. watched both. It was great. Yeah, I don't know. My grandma's like, oh, which is, I don't know. I don't know how she gets her movies. I wonder how she picks them out. And she probably just was like, this is cheap or something, you know. Probably. She was probably like, this is on sale. Or she like just moved into a house. Yeah, and they at had the time, them. She, she stole had, them as she moved out. She stole them? No, like, she was living in a place at that point that was fully furnished when she moved in. So That's right. So that came with. It might have been there. I don't know. It might not have been. Someone, someone knew what we, someone knew we were coming. Yeah, someone knew. But, Brian, that's not the only birthday. Holy shit, today. there's more than one birthday today? So, this person is a whatever. I just, we'll put you them just put, in the middle. Okay, we'll put them in the middle. So, uh, Millard Fillmore. Is that our president? Yes, our 13th U.S. president. Wow, I Millard can't believe I remember Fillmore. that. You remember that he that was a president? That he was a president. Why? Everyone knows he's a president. It would be more impressive if you knew what number he was. Oh, I... <laughs> 
<laughs> 13. Good old 13 Fillmore. Well, he was born in... I'll actually remember that forever now. He was born in 1800, Marla Dot, mm-hmm. and he died in 1874. So he lived 74 long years. Wow. And I couldn't tell you what Millard Fillmore did. I probably should have looked that up when I saw it was his birthday today, but I didn't. So <clears throat> uh, well, if he didn't... you know what he did... Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't kill the union. We're nope. still here. No, he sure didn't. We're here, ba- barely hanging on by a thread. Yeah. So we're going to move straight on to the next person because they are also super awesome, just like Nicolas Cage. I feel like we're going to make an awesome sandwich out of Miller Fillmore. Okay, cool. So today is also Kenny Loggins' birthday. Fuck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he was born in 1948, and he will be 70 years old today. I don't believe it. It's that true. man rocks too much to be it's 70 true. years old. Uh, Kenny Loggins is a singer, and he is known, his like most famous songs is Danger Zone. Danger Zone! And he also wrote the song Footloose. Which is for the motion picture. Which Footloose. is a great track. He actually has a lot of great music. Yeah, but... he was also in a nitty gritty band. So we already talked about this, but I want to bring it up again. Um, obviously, Archer has used the song Danger Zone a lot in a lot of different ways. Yeah. But that country album, where the first track is a country version of Danger Zone with Kenny Kenny Loggins, Loggins, is amazing. Go watch that. Yeah. Go go listen to it. Yeah, it's amazing. Did you listen to that album anymore? I have. I listened to it a couple more times. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, it's... (laughs) It's good considering it came from a TV show. Even if the lyrics were not batshit crazy like they are yeah they are really crazy right um that would be a good album because it reminds me of like the best of dolly parton Mm -hmm. you know i kind of that's what i like i like that old like old country style country sound that's also kind of sad too Mm -hmm. um i don't know like i'm not a huge fan of country current um, country no i don't like i do like some parts of country and it's i don't know anything about country so it's hard for me to explain what i like about it. basically what i think Brittany's trying to say is if you uh turn on save a horse ride a cowboy we're not into it yeah (laughs) but if you put on like jolene yeah, that I'm, uh, like, down. Yeah, speaking of which, apparently Jolene is on that new game I got, Drop Mix. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. So, um, but the the expansion packs are just so expensive. Mm-hmm. I'm curious to play that a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe, like, we could do a one-on-one. That would be a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, let's like, try a one-on-one night. just playing, like, one-on-one. Maybe we can do a board game night, but it's really just all, like, we never get to play the one-on-one games. Yeah. Like, we could play Stratego, we could play cards. Yeah, we could play Guess Who. Yeah, we could play Battleship. <laughs> 4, Battleship. So we have a lot of, like, random games. <clears throat> that we never get storage. to play on there. So we um, should do that sometime. Yeah, definitely. You know, I love board games, so I'm mm-hmm. always down. So, so, and so I am happy to play with you. We, we just, uh, a few days ago, right before the new year, we did a board game stream, and it was a lot of fun. But it was a also- lot of our friends, or I guess when I say friends, I mean Hutch doesn't like board games. Yeah, and, and he's he, the guy who lives and here. He lives lives with us, so it's really hard. We have some friends who are really into board games, but they live further away. Further away, they're busy and it's, lives. It's hard. We have to like organize. We can't just pull out a game and be like, "Hey, everybody, let's play a game tonight." You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because Hutch doesn't particularly like it, but maybe he, you and I can do. He like, was really into drop mix though, and so was Cody. Cody was really into yeah, drop mix. Yeah. I had really fun playing Catan because you beat me. I beat you <laughs> <clears throat> barely, Any, though. Anytime. It was good. It was a good. Yeah, it was good. It was a close game. So, it, yeah, I love Catan. It's like one of my favorite games now. Um. Oh, really quick, I almost forgot. There's one more uh, birthday today. Oh, it's an animal birthday. Oh, that's of course. Uh, Harry the hippo. Harry the hippo. If you have Harry the hippo in your fuck, town, that's an amazing name. Um, he has like a beard. He looks crazy. <laughs> He's like an animal in my town. I would kick him out if he was. In my town, just saying. But uh, his favorite style is old, uh-huh. and his favorite color is aqua. So Ooh, if you out. have Harry the Hippo in your town, be sure to wish him a happy birthday. Unless you want to kick him out, then to just ignore him on his birthday. No, Brittany, is this uh, you, the t- no, no. You want to get rid of the one with the pinchers? Okay, I think I have one with a pincher. <laughs> Release that one, yeah. All right. I think I'm releasing that to get one I ha- okay. the same thing. Well, that one definitely is worth less than the other ones. So. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not it's even like going Goliath. for the Goliath. It's like Goliath Beetle, and then and then the one with the pinchers. I forget what it's called. And then like the rest. I of it. this is a terrible thing, but I um you know the song uh, Prodigy Firestarter. No. Um, well, there's a line called uh, uh, "Psychosomatic out of uh, Attic Insane." Okay. And I that's what I think of every time I see the pinchers, and I don't have a good reason for it, but I'm just because their names are similar. I guess. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to go for? I guess so, maybe. What are you trying to go for, Brian? I don't even know. Nobody anymore. knows. All right, well, we're going to do one more round of bug catching, and then we'll probably call it a day. Okay, you don't want to fill up your little box? I can try. I can. I can try. You can try, but. So, how does it feel to be playing Animal Crossing, Brian? You if, I, I had like, to readjust to you the controls played again. at least two months, so. Yeah, um, yeah, because. Yeah, we had to delete my town to do this so that was fun yeah but uh I, I, it's okay i uh honestly like tree placement for this was bothering me for a while so i'm glad that's that fixed <laughs> so you glad that today happened the way it did yeah see everything works out for a reason brian so there we go there you go uh, well that whining. was the first one I, I accidentally made go away that's not true i saw you scare off a bunch when you first got here nope not true that is true you can look back at the video you you can uh, I don't have to. We're I switching so. jobs. I know so. You're going to edit now. No, I'm not. Tomorrow is back to mayor business. Today's uh -huh. just vacation for mayor, so I'm letting the vice mayor take over. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, uh, okay, don't scare this one off. It's a big one. This is a golden stag. Don't choke. I got it. Now. Brittany. <laughs> what? I told you now and you didn't do it. You yelled into the mic. We determined that that's not a thing that happens. And I yelled it to the mic in front of my face, not the mic in, in your hands. You need to you need to pay attention to <laughs> birthdays or something, because I was doing I'm so good. I'm done with all my days. And, well, make up a new segment for well, me. Well, all right. Today is Brittany. What, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite food if day? I feel like today is a food, a food day. What would okay, so today's food day be? Today, uh, we're For me, it's the last day of Max, so I'm probably going to go to a restaurant. <laughs> we're going to go to like a restaurant some, or like, yeah. legitimate food because. We've been made, uh, like, so one thing, we do a real Actually, that's, that's really not cool. true. We get legitimate food at Mag because. We we have a food department. Yeah, which is one guy. <laughs> <laughs> which is our friend Tanner, who makes food for everybody. Yep. He packs his car full of food and food stuff. Um, he even brings like a mini fridge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he brings the George Foreman. He calls it. He's, he's just uh, calls time, it George. Every time he, we're like, oh, this like grilled cheese is really good. He's like, yeah, yeah George made George it. made it. <laughs> um. But yeah, he cooks us some really great food. So we had like spaghetti this year and we had pork loin sandwiches. Yes. Just all kinds of really nice stuff that you wouldn't think of having it a convention, you know, that you yeah. made yourself. <laughs> so We just do a lot of things to make sure that like we're well fed because the first couple of years we didn't do that. Yeah. And Plus, holy if you've shit. ever been at a con before, you know how hungry you get? And if you've ever worked at a con before, you get extra hungry. Yes. And most conventions are super expensive, but the hotel we stay in is called the Gaylord National. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You can Google it the name because I always do. Um, <laughs> it is super expensive. It is j just for rich people. Like, I don't know who would go there otherwise. Like, yeah, I know like we get a because, rebate and it's like still normal price. Like, I know that we are there. Like, the whole convention is there just because it's big enough to fit everybody. Yeah. And MAGFest, is, it's super important for them to be going 24 hours. Yeah, it's Most part of the... Most conventions shut down at night, but MAGFest doesn't. We stay going for the whole, like, four days. Mm -hmm. So this hotel allows us to do that. But otherwise, this hotel is so expensive. It's beautiful, but I would never go there. <laughs> like, no, no. It is terrible. Not worth it unless you have, like, just, you're just, b buckets of money are like, just pouring out of your pockets. Like, we spend $100 on parking alone. Yeah. That's how expensive this place is. So, luckily, because we work for the, for MAGFest, we don't have to pay for the hotel because we are staff and we work a certain amount of hours to get that. And that helps a lot. So we tried to budget in food and cook for our people as well because you could spend twenty five dollars on a single meal. Yep, yep. And it won't even be that good of a meal. It'll be a whatever meal. So. So yeah, this is actually the first year we're not making our volunteers uh, help out with the payment of that process, which is really nice. Yeah. 
So <clears throat> we've been able to pay for it this year out of our budget. So yay! Yay! Thank you, MacFest. Yes, thank you so much, MacFest. So I'm glad that they decided to keep us around mm -hmm. <laughs> and not be like, "Get out of here, fools! Get out of here! We don't want none of your Mega Man. We don't want no Mega Man. You're too much." That shark's really bothering me. You should try and catch that shark. I'll be quiet so that you can okay. focus. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look at this, the actual like screen I was playing on the big screen. Oh, you should never look at the big screen. Uh, it's like maybe if I was sitting where you're sitting, yeah, but it's a lot easier for me over here on the other side of the desk. Why the 3DS is still just as close to you as it was for me? Because I have a mic in front of it. Oh, okay. Also, it's weird that you click that button. I'll hold it down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just press it repeatedly. Uh, you can just hold it down, too. I don't eh. know if that makes a difference. I don't know either. But yeah, you can sell that saw shark and you'll get a lot of money for it, too. All right. So I catch sharks as well, just because they'll give you just as about as money, okay. about as much money as the beals do. So just a little hot. Hot Brittany. tip. Hot, Hot tip. Brittany tip for you. Well, guys, this episode might be a little bit longer, mostly just because... Because uh, he doesn't know what he's doing. Because I cut down two trees, <laughs> so there's less beetle options, yeah. but at least they're in, they're being in the right place in the future. In the future. I'm concerned about that one you planted at the very bottom, though. This one down here? Yes. Why? Because when you come around the corner... Come around the corner slower. So this is how I do it. I have a feeling that I'll show you how I do. Time it. I come around, it's gonna that bug's gonna fly off. When so I this is what it. I do. I come here and I stop, and then I casually come over and then check it out. But the reason I do it is because they're it's far enough away, and then you can come around a corner, you'll see it go slow, and then you come around a corner, see it, you go slow, come around a corner, see see it go slow. That's just and. You know, it's a lot better in the corners than having two trees right next to each other. I don't think I got it. Can you show it to me again? Can right. you show me how you come around the corner and go slow again, please? Yes, so right here's... Yeah, can you just do like a whole other loop for me? Okay. Because I don't know if I actually have it. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> so one more time, please. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be doing a bad job. I I want it to. I want to be, do a good job. So can you just show me one more time? <laughs> hey, Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> How would you like your favorite food, your new favorite food today, to be a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> That's my favorite food. How did you know? I, you know, I just felt I felt something, a kinship or something. I'll, I'll take a punch. I don't care. <laughs> I know you will. I'll I know you will. Joke. That's the thing that, like, <laughs> that's the thing about you. It's like, you know, like, fuck you. <laughs> you can't do nothing I'll, to me. I'll take a punch and then I'll say, oh, you you can't punch. Your husband teach you how to punch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <just laughs> yeah, it's kind of, that's kind of what it's like to be around Brittany, guys. I'll, like, not feel paid to spite you. <laughs> Oh, man. Good You're times. I'm glad we took this vacation. We really needed it. Oh, ah. Nice and relaxing. <laughs> I got a knuckle sandwich for breakfast. And <laughs> we cut down some trees because fuck the environment. And we're catching bugs because... I have almost filled up the thing. What do you think they do with these bugs when we catch them? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't really think about that. Like... You what, put them in the bug machine? What... Oh, what kind of devious illegal trading is this, you know? Right? Like, I'm putting these bugs into, like... No one like, cares because they're bugs, but imagine if these were, like, tigers. Yeah, yeah. Polar bears or, you know, a dog. <laughs> because people love dogs and cats. Yeah. We've all seen those sad videos on Facebook. In the arms of the angel. Let's see how many I got. It's like a little dog in a wheelchair. Go ahead. Please adopt me today. For pennies a day. For pennies a day. You can help save an animal's life. By donating I mean, I'm not against those ASCC. things, but the, no, the video themselves are like pretty that funny. That particular commercial is easy to make fun of. 
because, I don't know, it was just so much. Like, you could just do regular footage and be like, hey, these dogs and cats need homes. Yeah. I've seen, like, really funny ones, too, where, uh, on YouTube that are, like, supposed to be funny. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, this guy wearing a tie, and he's just, like, hey, he's, like, basically being a used car salesman, but it's, like, with the cats and dogs. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, hey, come on down. We've got cats, cats, cats. This one will sit in your lap. This one will scratch your furniture or whatever. I don't know. It's just really funny. So, I feel like, um, That's perfect, though. Yeah, yeah. And so, it's, like good humor and also not sad and you also want to adopt animals because animals 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 i would adopt all the animals if i could i'm like so torn because i want to have a farm but, but i also, also want, to travel? want to travel which is a good combination because you have to have someone there to take care of your animals and if you have like a legit farm you can't take like your chickens with you on vacation mm -hmm. so yeah. And we're talking about like a legit farm. Brittany and I have both lived in the country quite a bit, yeah. but Brittany more so than me. <laughs> I'm just like done with buying groceries and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to get some chickens and we can just get, get eggs. some goats. <laughs> get some goats. We'll milk them for milk. Mm -hmm. we'll just have to drink goat's milk and we make, we'll make our own cheese. <laughs> And that's goat how we'll live. Goat cheese is great, though. Yeah, great, so. Goat cheese is delicious. I've had goat milk before as well. Uh, it's actually really good. It's just a different, like, a little it's a little bit more watery than goat uh cow's milk uh -huh. but it tastes the same to me okay because my uncle used to have goats and he made uh cheese with their milk and but he would freeze their milk in the freezer until he was ready to use it yeah and um he would like put it in like cleaned out cow's milk yeah yeah like, uh, the cartons not the cartons but like the big gallon the big, jugs. yeah yeah but at the time, my mom was also, like, she just had a baby, so she was getting WIC, which is, like, where if you reach a certain amount of income and you have a baby, you get, like, free milk and cheeses and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we would get an absurd amount of milk that we could not drink, so we would freeze it. And I went to the freezer to get a new thing of cow's milk and accidentally got goat's milk. Yeah. But, and had cereal with it, and it tastes the same to me, honestly. Okay, well. So you could still drink goat's milk apple. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't notice a difference. I thought the consistency was a little weird, but I was like, man, whatever, because I was a kid, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't care. Like, this I is... I want these cinnamon The milk's crunch. funky today. <laughs> yeah. I thought it just had something to do with freezing and then unfreezing. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That could definitely... And it, it didn't. That's just the way the goat's milk is, so... And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the cookie crumbles, y'all. But yeah, I kind of want to get a farm. I also want a llama just to have a llama. <laughs> like, That's because you went no to that. purpose. I've always wanted a llama. And then I went to a vineyard uh, in North Carolina. It was like in the Yatkin Valley. Yep. Which is like where all of our wine comes from. And they have a vineyard slash llama farm, which is super great because you can get drunk on wine and then go out and pet the llamas. And they also uh, use their fur to like make scarves and stuff they sell so it's really awesome just need to get one more what are you doing brian you trying to do math over there yep mathing it up but i don't really have a reason to get a llama but i want one <laughs> Brittany, we have a lot like that was kind of how we got cats so it makes sense to me well cats and dogs are different they're more for companionship but like farm animals they they have to have a reason no not really like, you can get a farm animal for companionship. I guess so. I guess Pick, a People would have make pigs a good and chickens pet. for as pets. And <laughs> My sister has chickens, but they eat the eggs, so. Oh, that's still useful. There's nothing wrong with having, like, a useful f friendship. <laughs> useful friendship. There's another rainbow one up there. Go get it, bro. Why are you start so far back? That's why I don't mess up. So far back. Is that why you don't mess up? Yes. That's why. You're so sassy today. Yeah, well, you, you, I think you had the ultimate sass today, so it's okay. I don't know. You just dumped all my stuff on the floor over there, so. I did. <laughs> Actually, it's leaning up against the fallen table and the wall. Well, if you break that tablet, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I know. My tablet's up there. Hmm. We should put that somewhere. It's not like we ever use those. Well, I had it on my nightstand, but somebody had to flip it over. <laughs> we need to get you a proper nightstand anyways. Well. 
Well, guys, it's Put been... Put that on the list. <laughs> it's been a weird day. It's been a weird day. But it's time to go home. And Brian's probably going to sing on his way home. I'm not. Because that's not what the one I sing. Yeah. The, the, this is not the go sing time. We skipped the go sing time, Brittany. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for being <laughs> with us. We really do Thanks appreciate you hanging out with us every day. Thanks for watching today's weird episode. We're going home from MacFest. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. We'll be nice and tired.